Okay, hello. <laughs> my name is Jessica. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today is actually November 18th, 2012. And, um, some people know this day as pretty much the Transgender Day of Remembrance. And being in New Mexico, out in the middle of the oil field, there's really no ceremonies or vigils that I can attend, so that's why I have the candle. Um, so before I get started, um, I do want to say that my thoughts and prayers go out to everybody. Um, I believe there was over 265 deaths around the world that were transgender related. Um, so, definitely my thoughts and prayers to all the family, friends, and loved ones of those people that passed away in 2012. Um, you know, like, like I said, today's November 18th, 2012. Um, it's a very, very important day. And my heater's just turned on. I don't know why. Um, but it's an important date for me. Um, I'm going to turn down my heater. Um, sorry about that. I'm back. Um, two years ago, it was, you know, when I got my ears pierced. Um, so I wouldn't forget about the trials and tribulations that involved the people before me, the generation before our generation that, you know, sort of kind of really, I hate to say it, but made it easier for me. Um, you know, there is a little more public acceptance, not as much as we would like, but there is a little bit more. And, um, uh, just all the information around the internet and everything else, uh, I I owe a lot to the generations before me, or the same generation, but just <laughs> I mean because I guess I'm saying I'm a late bloomer or whatever, but um so this day is very very important to me. Um, you know, two years ago when I I did my ears, I. I did it for that reason, so I would always remember those people before me. Um, I know, I, hey, I, I had to do something with those office blinds. I mean, they're still there. I cheated. Um, I don't know, it'll probably sit better over here. See, it's still there. <laughs> I got this fabric for like, what, a couple bucks over at the thrift store? I think I paid two dollars for this and two dollars for this and I had to cut it out because I got it around and that's why you see the blinds back you wouldn't even know if I didn't do that but I made it enough to sort of blend in you know, add my touch to it so I got it all the way around over there over here and behind me um, doesn't really go very good with my couch but hey what the heck um, I'm making it my own, so, anyway, um, yeah, um, like I said, I'm not going to be able to go to Dallas, I'm making a trip to Dallas next week, I, unfortunately it's going to be one week too late to attend the, the, uh, the vigils there in the Dallas DFW area. And Albuquerque is just too far to really go. I, I wish I could. So, um, just as long as my thoughts are there, um, it's all good. And like I was saying, the commitment part—that's uh, really when you know when I got my ears pierced. You know, I was getting ready. You know, I didn't. I wasn't quite on hormones at the time. I yeah, it was. You know, I was, I was busting my path. I was breaking my path. I was laying my path out. And I was 
thinking of what I was going to do in the next coming months. Of course, which led to, you know, taking my hormones, seeing the doctor, quit smoking, everything else. So, um, yeah. One of my trips to Dallas, I, fuck, it was over at the dollar store and just add a little bit of color to it. <laughs> Alright, so, um, I got company coming over. I sold the trailer. Um, we all know if you watched my last video, um, I know my hair's getting, I think I'm about getting a haircut. It's getting like almost, I can almost make a mustache out of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> hi. <laughs> um, I know I'm not my normal self. You know, I'm because I haven't had Mr. Brush in it. Mr. Brush just recently came back. Um, you know, when I moved to the trailers and everything. Um, see, all my money, you know, when I was transitioning, doing my hormones for the last year, I, I really should have been saving up. Um, oh, it's starting to rain. Cool. Rain in the desert is a good thing. Um, so, I know my brain's everywhere today. Um, so, Mr. Brush was gone, and basically what happened, to make a long story short, all my money was actually going into the Mr. Brush initial, you know, factory. So I was, you know, that was actually... Owning stock into the Hairbrush Association of America, and uh, it was, you know, it, it flopped. It, it didn't work. So, um, pretty much lost all my money. So when I sold my trailer, I bought this trailer. I moved in. I'm still moving in. I'm setting up curtains. I'm making it my place. I'm making it our place. Um, which is good. Um. But when I sold my other trailer, I sold it for a couple grand um, to help cover some of the costs of this. But instead of just putting it back into my bank, I, I, I want to take this time to thank, um, I don't know if you can read that, but it's pretty much Wells Fargo. And they gave me this free little cup with a spoon and why, I have no idea. It's even, uh, looking at the sticker, it's made in China on the very bottom. Go figure. I need to get a cup made in Thailand. Um, that's what I need to do. Because um, I think that's what I'm going to But anyway, so I put the $2,000, I put it in this bank. I'm leaving this bank alone. I'm not touching this bank. So if you're a family member watching, <laughs> it's my commitment. It's what I was talking about earlier, my road path, my plan for the future. I am putting um, $500 every single paycheck um, into this bank and I'm leaving it alone. So by the time next year rolls around I should have way more than enough um, to go to Thailand, get everything done, um, and still be able to afford to be off work for a couple months because obviously there's a healing thing. I just can't go bouncing around. So, with that being said, um, it, it definitely takes commitment. I will update in my videos, um, so you folks will all see. Um, but yes, I sold the trailer. Um, I put that in the bank. Um, and I've gotten paid one paycheck. So, right now, I have $2,500 and... 49 cents into my GRS fund. Now this fund will cover um, augmentation, uh, gender reassignment surgery, um, and electrolysis. And anything else that if I become unemployed again or something happens, I you know, I might have to pull it out. But while I'm working at this job, while I'm doing it, I need to plan up ahead. I, 
one year is not a very long time, and it's probably going to be like maybe another 13, 14 months. I'll probably be about two and a half years and four months by the time I get tonight, so, um, it's all good. I'm kind of excited. I'm laying it down. I'm, I'm, I'm laying down and researching. Um, I'm talking to some people. Um, I'm thinking of a, a, a Sporn. Um, I can't pronounce his name quite yet, um, but that is Orsaran. In uh, or Saran in uh, in Thailand, in Thailand, Thailand. <laughs> um, <laughs> my tongue will play that. So, um, <laughs> um, there's also a couple of doctors I'm, I'm checking on here. I guess, um, uh, Broussard's another a good one that I need to research. And this is the time to do it if it's going to take me a year. Or 13 months or, or 14 months to save up, you know, so I can afford two months off. Um, you know, this is what I need to do. This is, I need to lay this stuff out. So, um, I'm kind of proud of myself for doing this. Sort of like the same path I, I did with the quit the smoking and the seeing the doctor and, you know, doing the name change. It's. <sighs> 2013 goals are going to be pretty much um, the voice. That's pretty much it. Um, and augmentation, and unless I go to Thailand, then I'll probably get the uh, GRS and the augmentation at the same time. Um, so, but it's all good. Um, another transgender day of remembrance. I'm putting my foot down and setting my goals and. That's what I need to do. So, and this will also give me time with my new job because it'll be new now. It'll give me over a year then, so that if I do need two months off from work with the Family Medical Leave Act, work can't really fire me for that. So, because I'll be healing, um, so I think they don't they won't need to know what it's for, just as long as I've been to a doctor and everything else. Everything should be fine. So. I, I'm planning all this out, so it's working really good. And work is going good. I I goofed up on the job. Oops, ouch! I goofed up on the job once um, already. I reversed my pump while I was unloading um, at the wrong time, and the hose busted. And this is crude oil, so I spilled like maybe a half a barrel. Got all over me. I tried washing my clothes and. That stuff stinks. I got yelled at. Got don't do that again, um, or else. <laughs> it's like no. <laughs> so um, all those environmentalists. Uh, yeah, no, that's they're gonna have to go through and they're gonna have to dig where I spilled it and like dig down a few feet below it and all that dirt off and then put new dirt in. And, yeah, it's not a good thing. So, as long as I don't do that again, it should be all right. Um, but like I said, I, I really got to start thinking about my future. Um, I cannot be taking spirolactone on my life. I don't want to be. Um, so that would be great um, when I don't have to take that no more. So, but work's been going good. It's always ma'am, everything. I mean... Um, it sometimes still shocks me, uh, you know, waiting in line and doing something. It's like, you know, hey, no, just, you know, hey, what happened over here? Oh, she just spilled a bunch of, you know, it's like, I, I, I smile. It's though I felt bad for doing it. It's like, you know, what? and they still, so it's neat. Um, I'm living my life just like I should. And that's what's making me smile a little bit more. Um, on the other news of things with family, um, I'm still waiting on the pictures. Um, I should be getting some pictures of me, you know, when I was like 13, 14, you know, in the shelter homes, foster care. So I should be getting some pictures um, to compare. Um, now I'm still waiting on those. They should be any week now. But I spoke with my birth father, um, and you know, before the holidays, and um, 
know, because we got Thanksgiving coming up, which happy Thanksgiving to everybody in the United States. Um, I know a lot of the people over, you know, on the other side of the pond really doesn't don't understand. I mean, here we are, thank giving thanks to you know sitting here starving to death, and you know, <laughs> those red natives just you know fed us and you know saved us a little bit, and then we go around and take their land and. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, no, it was Thanksgiving, um, and then my dad's birthday is like right before Christmas, you know, like a few days before Christmas, um, and then of course it's Christmas, so I, my excuse for calling him, um, and, and it was a good one, is, you know, because what I wanted to say was pretty heavy, and I didn't want to say it during, I didn't want to call him up Thanksgiving Day and say, hey, guess what? You know, there's a time and a place. Thanksgiving Day, is, <laughs> at least this way, it gave him a couple days, you know, a week or so, to, you know, break it down before he has his Thanksgiving with his family. You know, you know, he's remarried since, um, so, um, almost like I got a stepmom. <laughs> I don't know, I got a mom, a stepmom, and then you know, my parents that raised me, and they're both dead and died. Um, but anyway, no, it's kind of hard to, you know, interpret over a phone how a person reacts. But I can say this. After I told me and I am, it was like, <laughs> I told him I got a name change. He's like, what did you do? Change your name to Sarah or something? I said, no, Jessica. And he started laughing. He thought I was joking. <laughs> and uh, then I finally told him again, no, I wasn't joking earlier. And that's it. And, the conversation, even though I couldn't grasp what, you know, at how he was feeling or what he was doing, or the conversation lasted another 10, 15 minutes afterwards. So, I know it wasn't super, super bad. So, and also, he'd probably be watching this now because he's got my YouTube channel. Which, if you are watching this, Dad, I, I do love you. Um, and, you know. It's all good, so I just need to do some electrical work with the light sockets or something. See if I can cause some more fireworks. Um, so no, it's all good, um, and I still keep in contact with my birth mother, which is good too, and my sisters that you know from the adoptive family that are my family, the you know family that raised me. Yeah. I still keep contact with them. I, I, you know, I'm surrounded by people that do love me, which is great. Um, and everything's working out great. So I think everybody sees how much happier I am. Um, you know, before when I was just drinking uh, so damn much, I can't believe I was drinking that much. But anyway. I digress. I haven't grabbed my brush in a while and I need to do another plug-in for the Hairbrush Association of America. Um, <laughs> joking. So, no, everything's good. Um, like I said, I'm just putting my foot down. Um, I'm starting my savings. Um, which, you know, in all actuality, actually, actually, <laughs> And then, 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 if I would have put $100 away every week, and I'm already, what, 60 weeks, I would already would have had over six grand saved up. I mean, so this is my own fault. But you got to realize throughout this whole time, what, I, I wasn't employed the whole time. I was unemployed. I was collecting unemployment. It's, you know, it's neither here nor there. Um, and everything does happen for a reason. Um, but now that I'm, I'm, pro I won't, I don't want to say progressing, but I guess I am. I'm progressing um, to the point that you know I, I feel myself. I, I feel I'm ready. But I, you know, I still know there's doctors I got to prove to and everything else, which is I sound kind of bummed out when I say that, but that's. That's life. That's reality. You know, they got to do the letters, but I, there's also some things that got to get settled into my head too. So, you know, that when I go all the way to Thailand, if that's the route I go, um, 
I'll be going by myself. It'll be a journey by myself. It's not like I'll have friends. It'll be another downfall to it. I mean, it's a big step, especially for a person my age. <laughs> so, but it's all good, and I'll always keep you folks updated um, through my doctor searches. If you have ideas or I've heard good things about somebody, um, you know, let me know. They're not too outrageous. I know price really shouldn't matter, but it's gonna, um, you know, like I said before, some people they'll save up money to go buy a car or they'll go buy a house. Um, I got this RV, which is gonna last me a long time. I'm gonna be here for a long time. Um, that's reality. Um, because this is where I work, this is my job. And uh, that's why I put these curtains up. Even though they're little four dollar cheap curtains that have been cut with scissors and <laughs> I gotta go do that to the back of my bedroom too. I got different colors over that. I got like gray with the blue gray for the middle panel. And then white and then blue flower. Sort of all blinded in. And that's gonna be for the bedroom. And then I think I'm gonna use Dark green for kids. I gotta get some jacks on this thing. Every time I move like this, it's like the whole trailer shakes. <laughs> there goes a the camera. Um, <laughs> so he's like, whoa, earthquake! <laughs> Sorry. Hold still. Stop it. So it's all good. Um, I'm still smiling. I'm still laughing. And that's important. And that's important. I'm going to take my pills. Oh! I'm cycling my progesterone today. I never have the entire... And I'm gonna, that's why I'm going to go to Dallas next week. I'm going to go... I'm going to go back to my doctor in Dallas. I'm going to try to... So, what is today? Sunday morning? So I take my calcium. I get my fish oil. What's that? What the heck? Oh, I got rotated, huh? Yeah, there's my folic acid. I take that at night. And then, that'd be my magical, magical spiromectin. Which, I, you know, you can't take forever. And my blood pressure, which I'll probably drop these out next and see how my blood pressure is. I got a blood pressure machine. But then I got my three little estrogens, and that's it. So I'm, I'm skipping the uh, progesterone, the medi -pro progesterone, the provera, whatever you want to call it. I'm skipping it. I just got my. And another trick. That I, because I've had some people ask me, you know, how I take these. I take them under the tongue, but I don't do it while I'm talking, making a video. I actually do it when I'm sitting there watching TV, relaxing, or actually, I when I go to work, I put these in my truck, my pickup. So as I'm driving out down my way to work, I put them underneath my tongue, and then I try to keep still and not talk, because you got to realize that if you put these underneath your tongue, they're sweet. And if you could taste how sweet they are, guess what? You're taking them on. Because your taste buds are pretty much on the top of your tongue. So, you really got to gradually, you know what I mean? So, when you're not talking, when there ain't a whole bunch of saliva in your mouth drowning everything, that's when you want to put them in your tongue. So, I'll wait to take those. But, that's how I take them. I don't know. They don't even work on me no more. I just It's all good. Okay, they work a little bit. And what can I say? So, again, um, thoughts, prayers go out to everybody. Um, friends, family, relatives um, of everybody. Uh, those 265 people, probably more than, you know, transgendered and died. Um, whether it be murder or whatnot. Um, transgender Day of Remembrance. I, I wish I could be there with some of my friends. Um, I will be there next week. I'll probably just a short little visit. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, 
but uh, definitely thoughts and prayers. Um, and it's a day. If I could wait another year, I probably would say this would be the day I, I would want to go underneath the table. You know, or, you know, the knife under the table. Like, that's just something, something important, um, something I'll never forget. The people that went before me. Hopefully, I, I don't die in a way like that. Some people, it's really sad, really, really sad. So, anyway, with that being said. Um, you just gotta remember, you gotta be true. <laughs> you gotta be yourself. You gotta. So, until next time. Peace.